got back from Burning Man. We were on the road for 15 hours, I think. It took us about six hours to get out of the, the playa, the desert. Well, six hours to get out of the desert. The playa is the flat area the Burning Man takes place on it. It's all flat for miles and it's just solid ground like dirt, hard dirt slash rock and then a, a layer of dust. These words don't get it across like the thoughts can. God, the devil, it's the same thing. It's speaking to us right now. It's speaking to us in our minds constantly. It's the collective subconscious. I, I confronted it. There's so many people at Burning Man. It's about 40,000 people. Third biggest city in Arizona. While it's going on. Black Rock, Arizona. For one week. The Pink Cup. fracture in the pink cup. I don't know what, where it came from or why it happened. Traveled light. It's got a crack in the side. If you're bidding on this cup, let me know if you want me to super glue it or just send it with the crack in it. But it's like facing God. God was speaking to me. The devil. Call it what you want to call it. And for the first time in my life, I listened to it. It's speaking to us constantly. And what it is, it's speaking to us constantly. It's a representation God, the whole concept of the devil and God is a representation of collective human thought. It's not telling us anything new. It's just representing what we already know. And we are communicating with it. It was a demon. It came to me. I was listening and I was, had my eyes closed and things were flowing around. I took mushrooms four days in a row. And each day got progressively weaker. And on the third day, it started, I was laying in the hammock at night, late, just laying, and it had been a long, it had been a long evening, and I was worn out, and it was, it was coming down, and I was, had my eyes closed, and I was visualizing, I was just, I wasn't looking for anything, I was just letting things flow and it was very amorphous it was tra things were moving around like electrical current so much electrical current it's everywhere the reason people look up to the sky for inspiration is because of the stars and the moon it's all electrical current it's passing it into us and it helps us to animate the body and to inspire the body it's it's truth Truth is light. Light is truth. Electricity is the key. On the third night, a voice underneath the music in Burning Man, 
the music plays 24 hours a day, just beat music, techno, trance music, echoing across the playa for 40,000 people to hear. The music, it creates the rhythm that puts people into a trance. Being there, I felt, be, I felt being pulled towards it, being pulled into it. I traveled to the structures, I traveled into the giant domes and where there were hundreds of people dancing like animals, being the animal, be, giving over to it, giving up to it, having the statues, dancing in front of the statues, people with crazy outfits on, not crazy, just wild, total indulgence in what we can be, the darkness, the bars, the bright colors, the the desire to move, the desire to give over to it. I felt it. But I took with me my training of self-exploration and self-understanding and self-awareness. So I was able to maintain my awareness while in the midst of the chaos and speak to the people. I carried this with me. Whenever I would travel, I would wear a robe. A beam of truth, accessible. It can be, in a moment, shown what is real. It brings people out of the chaos. When someone has a light shine in their face, they're forced to look at themselves in an instant. I didn't use it because I didn't need to, because I speak with my mind. God exists in the mind. The devil exists in the mind. Lose the labels, the collective, collective, collective unconscious exists in the mind, not with the words. You can't speak to it and say, tell me the truth. You can, you can try. Because if it's in the mind, it will respond. On the third night, a demon's voice came to my mind and it sounded like, like a language. And I was speaking in my mind to it, saying, Speak, demon. Speak to me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. And so it did. It started to communicate. It just started to talk. It started to talk like that. I've never heard anything like this in my mind. Under the music, part of the music, that it would become away from the music. And this was real. And then it took on a conversational tone and kept communicating, and I realized it was trying to communicate, it was expressing to me that people don't listen to it. It's not a demon. It's what we are. It's a representation of what we are. I call it a demon because I was afraid because it was different. It was trying to communicate, just like it's trying to communicate with every person. It is God. It is the essence of what we are. We speak to it, and then expect like some magical response, but it's there in the mind. If you clear your mind, you can listen. If you get rid of the ego, of the past, of your fear of your memories that are blockading your thought, lose it. Speak it. Open up your past. Let the thought flow and you will hear and understand the collective unconscious mind. You will understand the representation. You will understand what's happening because it will tell you. 
It wants to be listened to. It wants to be understood because it is us. And when you understand it and listen to it, you can speak to it and guide it and guide the flow of human thought. 